Hi, I'm here with Garrett Itz of Magneto Speed at SHOT Show 2017. Garrett, really appreciate you spending some time with our audience. Welcome, thanks for talking to us. Hey, you guys are known as you know kind of the go-to chronograph. I mean, we see more <laughs> you know of your products at, at, at the firing line. So for those folks that uh, are getting into the sport or you know have been in the sport for a while and are, are, are looking to upgrade, you know, what, what are the options for Magneto Speed that they should consider? Well, our flagship model, which is on the poster behind me here is our V3. And this model will adapt to half inch to two inch diameter round barrels and suppressors. Uh, comes with everything you need in the kit. Uh, it'll keep track of all your velocity and statistics and then you can download those to an SD card. And, or you could or you use our uh, iPhone and Android adapter and it'll uh, put it on your phone and you can email it to yourself or store it on the phone from there. Or copy your average and paste that into your Blissics app real easily. Uh, we also have a more economical version called our Sporter. This is right here on this rifle. Ed's got the uh, packaging right there. This is a stripped down version of our V3. It has the same accuracy uh, claims as our V3 does. We claim 99.5% accurate uh, across the board for centerfire rifles. Uh, this is a single button uh, four character display. It'll, it'll store your, uh, your uh, velocities and a few shot strings and it'll give you uh, your statistics if you click through. So you can click through, you can get your statistical data, average, high, low, SD, and then it'll cycle through your, um, your actual individual shots. So if you need a little more economical solution, this is retails $189.99. Our main flagship V3 is $399.99. Yeah, and I think it's worth, worth emphasizing here on the, on the sure. V3. I mean, you, you get just some really, really nice Hard case, nice good foam, you know, lots of protection, lots of accessories and adaptability there. Also for the V3, we have our, our Picatinny rail adapter and we have our large brake adapter, which is seen here on a 50 cal. Uh, muzzle. And so you can also use that on pistols Yeah, well. we have, you know, with the Picatinny rail or if you have a long revolver, like you got enough barrel purchase for the V-block, you can strap it on. Now, since we last saw you at SHOT Show, at SHOT Show 2016, you guys have been having a lot of fun. We've been heavy in development. <laughs> so so let, let's share some of, some of okay. your products. Well, what we have is our, our new uh, proprietary grip system for the AR-15 and rifles that can accept an AR-style pistol grip. So we call it the M-Series grip system, and it is a grip, uh, modular grip system that can handle four different modules we're just about coming to market with. We're right on the edge. So what we have is a um, glass-filled nylon uh, polymer uh, grip, uh, unibody, uh, has a beaver tail, has a polished back strap for keeping your thumb webbing uh, from getting too worked up from doing a lot of gun work. You have a pretty aggressive side texture to give you plenty of grip when you get sweaty hands or if you get some dirt or grime up there. And then the main, the main party trick is in the center where we have a cavity to accept various different modules. The grip itself will retail for about 32 bucks. It'll come with this thing. This is a dry box that'll snap into the grip under a spring-loaded ejection system. To eject it, you simply press this front lever down, which is well hidden and protected from falls, so you don't get any false ejections. It'll pop out the dry box. And the dry box is pretty simple. Squeeze open, and seal, keep things water uh, proof. We also are introducing our mini mag. This is a th fully functional three round mini uh, magazine for the AR-15. So standard, standard AR-15 calibers, you have 223, 556, 300 blackout, etc. This fits entirely within the grip system, locks in. So you always have three rounds available, whether they're your first three or last three, I tell people. <laughs> Simply pull the lever, pop it out, pop it in your gun. It's designed to be a little loose in your magwell, so you, it will drop out freely so you don't have to go fish it out with your fingertips. Also included is our flashlight. So this is a uh, flashlight that fits entirely in the grip system, works off a CR123 battery. It will also work off a couple of rechargeable batteries so you can get a little bit higher lumens out of it. Normally 150 lumens, we actually have 157 verified by an independent um, uh, electronics uh, firm. Uh, it has white light that you can change to various brightnesses. It remembers what brightness you left it on so you don't have to cycle through a bunch of different modes. It also has a red light to preserve night vision, which is very handy. The kit for this also comes with a Picatinny rail adapter 
that has a magnetic latch. So you can just throw it up there, turn on your light, and go. And we're also working on a hat clip, which, uh, which isn't quite ready yet, but you will be able to throw it on the bill of your hat and, uh, and walk around the house. And finally, our last module that we're launching, this is a prototype, is our monopod. This fits entirely, with, or uh, almost entirely in the grip, compact. Pressing this button on the thumb wheel extends a elevation control screw, which allows you to finally adjust the angle for long range shooting. If you need a little bit more length, you can extend it to a secondary locking position. Um, and this works with, well with bipods and uh, as a quick attachment if in case you don't bring your bags to the range or whatnot. And as, as always, it just simply ejects with the press of the button. Hey, you know, for you folks out there getting into the gas gun series, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna need a grip. I mean, why yeah. not have a? I, I it just came into my mind. I just thought Swiss Army knife of, of grips. Uh, it right kind of is. <laughs> We've now, gotten a lot of good feedback with the with the texture. Now we're we're gonna do a, a bit of a transition here, and we're gonna show right. off another really truly innovative and exciting product. Just give us a second here. All right, we're, we're back here with uh, Garrett of uh, Magneto Speed. I mean, this target right here is, you know, representative of what, you know, I typically shoot at offhand at a thousand yards. Right, and, of course. <laughs> you know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, I want to know if I, if, I, if I hit the target or if I, if I miss the target. And so what's really cool is, is they've got an innovative system that if you hit it, it lights up. And of course, you know, this is made out of rubber here. So if you, if you, you know, shank around uh, and, and hit it, but um, on the rare occasion that I miss, uh, let's let's illustrate uh, what will right. what, what, happen. You here. do it. You got a louder clap. Let's see if we can. <laughs> so it'll it'll give you hit or miss. That's right. I mean that that is really really exciting. So tell us where this is. You know, as okay. far as like delivery. You know, I just Development. Did, I just did your speech. <laughs> oh, no, it's all good. Yeah, no, it's great. I'm like so excited about. This. I can't get. It, I can't clap well enough to get it to go. I'm, I'm like so excited <laughs> about this product. So 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 tell us. You know where it is. Availability stuff like so that. This is just a very early prototype. We wanted to get people's feedback. Make sure we're on the right track before we spend another year developing it. We think sometime this year we'll be ready. The electronics are basically there. Our optics are there. Uh, we're working on our mounting system right now. We're trying to make this a very economical product. Price point looking between one and two hundred dollars, and um, yeah, so we're uh, we're right there, ready to go. You'll get a couple of these rubber uh, prisms, and if you do manage to destroy one after hopefully hundreds or thousands of rounds, uh, you can pop a new one in there. Also, different mounting hardware, so you might be able to mount it on multiple targets if you want to. Well, Garrett, I mean, we really appreciate the, the time you, you spent with us and spent with our audience, and we wish you the, the best yeah. of luck at SHOT Show. Yeah. SHOT, SHOT Show, it's been a long show. It has. <laughs> the SHOT Show 2017. And for those of you asking, is this my real target at 1,000 yards? No, the actual target is smaller. Right. Uh, it was, it's one of these, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Right, folks. Appreciate Thanks. it.